everyone. I thank the Lord for giving me this opportunity what inspired me this week. But let's have a word of prayer. Dear Lord, thank you for this day that you have given us. Um, pray for me and speak through me. And for you are loving and full of grace. And uh, we make our hearts be mended and healed and our attitudes be changed for the best. And protect us and guide us and keep us safe. In Jesus' name, amen. So I want to talk to you about hope. What is really hope? Not the saying like, I hope I get a reward in exchange for doing chores in my house. As humans, our hope in God is so limited. So while in the presence of God, how do we continually hope in God that he will take care of us? And how do we increase our hope so others can count on us? Hope is believing that God holds our future, trusting confidently in him that he is faithful and will complete what he begun. Let's look at Psalm 130 verse 5. It says, I wait for the Lord, my soul waits, and in his word I hope. Hoping that in God does not come natural for us. Sometimes we have to work hard to keep our hope. So, that is why we must pray to God and meditate on his word. Psalms 9 verse 18 says, For the needy shall not always be forgotten, and the hope of the poor shall not perish. It's actually impossible to live without hope because it's always deep down inside of us. And we have to always seek to build out hope in God. The more we strive to rely on God, we can become worry-free. We don't have to worry about tomorrow because God holds our future. 1 John 3, 20 to 21 says that if our heart condemn us, we know that God is greater than our heart and knows everything we do or our every step we take. Verse 21 says if our heart do not condemn us, we put our confidence and hope towards Christ. We, we lose our confidence in God when we start thinking of our circumstances. Today, people are stocking up on food because of the coronavirus. But instead of like our dear pastor said a few weeks ago, if we come together and seek the face of God, God will heal our land. We have to be wise, but not be afraid of our circumstances. Hope removes all fear. God has called us to be the light to those who are in darkness. Hope for the hopeless and be a comfort to the brokenhearted and support to those who are in need. We should, have not, we should have hope because many people are dying in this world without hope. If we do not exercise our hope in God, that means we cannot be the children of life. We should build our relationship with others to share the hope we have in God. Christopher Reeve once said, once you choose hope, anything's possible. Thank you for this time and God bless you all dearly.